Yes, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Flock, let's try this again. Do you believe in conservation? Okay. And don't you believe that we should always use all of the tools necessary to support conservation? I believe we should approach conservation the way it will be most likely to help the species. Okay, and, and, but, but you, you certainly would not want to uh, uh, you, you certainly would want to maximize the tools available to manage and conserve those, those, those species. Is that not correct? I mean, why would you not use a tool, I guess is a, would be the question. I think the largest priority in the situation is addressing the threats to this endangered. So, so you wouldn't you wouldn't choose to use all the tools. You would you would leave some on the side, even if you had the ability to conserve a species. You if just they ran wouldn't. contrary to protecting the species. No, 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 no. I'm saying if there's a tool used to conserve a species, would you not utilize that tool? Yes or no? It's real easy. Not yeah. if it's contrary to the conservation of the species. No, 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 no. This wouldn't be contrary. This would be. Founded in science, would you use that too? Well, in this situation. Yes or no? Not in this situation. If in fact the. What? Well, what? We we're not even talking about. I'm just asking a question. It could be lions. It could be elephants. If there is a tool necess that, that that can be used to conserve a species, would you not want to use that too? If it's not contrary to the conservation of the species, correct. Well, let me just tell you this. There is a tool. If there are certain sections in Canada that are overpopulated with polar bears, it is to the benefit of those populations to take some of those species. That's what the hunter does. That's why the hunter is such a great conservationist. He does more for conservationists than you do. I hate to tell you that. And so what we're doing now is we're basically telling Canada we're going to make it difficult on you to manage your polar bear populations, because we've looked at the polar bear population on a global scale. Is that not correct, Dr. Gu? I mean, I mean, doesn't Canada use, and, and don't we in the U.S. use the ability to take species in certain areas that, that where the population could be detrimental to the species? Hunting is an accepted conservation management tool. Exactly. And so, so wouldn't you say that, that, it, that, that not allowing... Uh, our hunters to go there uh, like they did, and and which they took. He took that polar bear legally. Is that correct? Yes, sir, he did. Okay. And so now we're not allowing him to just bring his trophy in when the U.S. says, yes, you went in there and you took it legally, and Canada is one of the leading countries in, in, in the world uh, in conservation and in wildlife management, and, and the United States is basically saying, no, Canada, you don't know what you're doing. We're counting all the polar bears around the world. We don't care if your polar bear population is overpopulated. Those polar bears could starve to death on ice. We just don't have enough anywhere else. And to me, that's what, that's, that's what this is all about. It's, it's just ridiculous. So I just want to let you know that there is a tool out there to save the polar bear, all right? And the gentleman sitting next to you, does more for conserving the polar bear than those commercials y'all run. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I yield back.